Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to the LPA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. You better follow me. Follow us. The BLPA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. Let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the greatest hockey show in the world. Good week, everybody. Hey, that voice is back, bud. Yeah, it is. Yeah, sounding good. You, strong. You, I can tell you've been waiting for that one. Oh, yeah, man. I've been, whoo. Yeah. I mean, I had a little skating issue with some lungs this weekend, but. But the voice is back. I can yell now. I can I can chirp. I can do some okay. shits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is what you do best anyway. So that's my game. That's yeah. my game. Really, really get in there with the old chirps. So, Jason, before we get going here, just uh, why don't you tell all the fine folks out there where they can find us? Yeah. So yeah. you can find us on all social media at the BLPA. You can find Nick over at Nicker Jones on Twitter, the Nicker Jones on Instagram, and you can find me only on the tweets at Beer League Jason. And let me just reiterate, my screen name, not any kind of slur of any sorts, nope. right? It's just uh, this is an homage to my man, Chipper Jones. The whole reason I got into podcasting, so one day I could interview him. It's not looking good. I've tagged him many times with Listen, no response. We can talk about this a little bit later, but I've got a guy I think that we need to try to get on the podcast that we might actually have a chance to. So we'll, oh, we might have a chance? Yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay, we'll talk about that. So a lot of things, stuff and things happening yeah. in, uh, in, in, in the world of beer league sports. But most of all, I just played a tournament in Philadelphia. It was a nice time. Yeah. I, I played two shifts of that tournament. <laughs> solid two. A solid okay. two shifts. Yeah. One, one shot in those two shifts and, and a puke. So, yeah, you know. Not, it was, not listen, terrible stats. Well, when you come off the illness that I was on. Yeah. You know, my lungs, my lungs were not good. And I started coughing, cough, cough. I coughed until I puked. And then I was like, you know what? This isn't, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna be fun. So I, I yeah, like, well, bow if out. you're, if you're coughing until you you're forcing yourself to throw up, that's probably a sign that like, maybe not ready just yet to, to be yeah. back. My heart was ready. Yeah. My brain was ready. Hands were probably ready. Oh yeah, hands were locked. Dangerous. They were yeah. feeling dangerous. Uh, just the lungs. The lungs yeah. weren't ready, and you gotta, you know, the lungs feed the wolves. You know that. That's right. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, and, and I got something to talk about in Philly. Uh, you know, a, a situation that we had there uh, that we're that we're going to get into, and I want to get people's thoughts on it uh, okay. in terms of that. And so, um, so we're going to talk about that. Obviously, we're going to talk about Japan. I booked some. I booked something special for myself. Me and Content Girl Brooklyn. Okay. Maybe we we'll get Content Girl Brooklyn on here in a, in a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll text her and see what she's up to. Uh, and uh, the Jason's got some ref stories and some NHL chatter and all that good stuff. But if we could, if we could, if we could ask you a couple things to maybe share this, let people know we're live. They they want to join us. Yeah. Let, let, let them know. Let, let them come in and chat with us on screen. Exactly. And then also Patreon. We do a lot of things. We're trying to get Jason paid. Patreon. We'll th we'll throw this we'll throw this code up. I don't care. Where is that? There it is right there. Is it worth a dollar? Yeah, it's worth a dollar. It's worth it's worth a hundred dollars to you. But there's that code. We're trying to get Jason paid. And you know, maybe by proxy me eventually. You know, I'd like to get paid <laughs> and, and and do that kind of stuff. So so that's that. So Let's just uh, right off right off the hop. I guess I should ask you how your week was. Like, did you have a good week? Did you did you do anything of note? Yeah, I uh, I refed six games on Saturday, and then I refed nine and played one on Sunday for a total of ten games. So while games. you were out doing two shifts, uh, I was out here putting in my work. My my feet still hurt from Sunday, like bad. Just. I was, I was, I had skates on from 10 in the morning until midnight. Yeah. But how'd them lungs feel? Lungs feel great. Oh man. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so jealous. You know, what was even worse? Uh, like you say your feet, like I also, I, I, I didn't talk about this on the podcast, but I broke my foot, my toe, my pinky toe, just walking around my house. Uh, not <laughs> nothing exciting. Like I literally just walked into the side of my bed and it, yeah. And it, it, so it was a black and blue and that was my first time having my my foot and skates too. And that wasn't pleasant either, but I, I could bet. tough that out. I yeah. could tough a little, a little pain, never hurt nobody. Right. But 
I couldn't t- tough out the lungs. Um, and people are already talking in the, in the chat about what I want to chat about. Uh, I do want to say, uh, first and foremost, I did miss Aaron Broderick. Michael Broderick, uh, was there, uh, but Aaron Broderick was not. And, uh, to be honest with you, as I do love, I do love Matthew Broderick, but I, I love Aaron Broderick just a little bit more. And so I, she was missed for sure. Yep. Um, so here's what happened. I was the only person in my round in Philadelphia. Yeah. Usually when that happens, I just put myself in and I'll, I'll usually decide before the draft who I want to play with and who I wanted to play with was Brian Santora because he's been coming to tournaments since 2017, 2016. And I've never played with them. And we always said we're going to get on the same team. So I was like, okay, Brian, since I'm the only person in my draft round, I'm just going to play on your team. No matter what team you go to, I'll play on your team. Okay. Okay. Well, he got, he got drafted. The goalies were last. He got drafted to the New York Rangers. And the New York Rangers w- were stacked. I mean, okay. they, they, were, they, they, had, they had two guys. They, were really, they, had, they had their ringer, but then they had another guy whom I did not know his name. I know him ever since we first went to Philly when we started BLPA and played in another guy's tournament. This guy came out as a free agent, and he was really fucking good. Yeah. We'll just call him Dredd. Cause he has long dreadlocks. That's how I know okay. just his dreads. I did not know his name was Ross. So when the guy signed up last minute named Ross, I put him in a round and he was lower. Cause he's out. Like, oh, I'm a five or six. Right. So I, I put him in a lower round and then Santora came in and he said, Ross shouldn't be that low. I was like, Oh, ring around. He's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe. But Ross didn't come to the, to the draft. If I would have seen oh, him, then you I would have seen him ring around. E- exactly. Yeah. Right. And so as as it turned out, I don't like to do this ever, but Ross was filling in for someone that bailed last minute. They got sick, so he didn't actually pay. Okay. Because the other guy had already paid, so he was just taking the guy's spot. And so th- on, on Saturday, the Rangers cleaned up. Like, they, are, they were having to stop skating at the second period, right? Yeah. It just wasn't, wasn't fun, right? The Flyers, on the other hand, were struggling. I mean, their goalie gave up. Basically, sorry, PT, if I get this wrong, 7,900 goals <laughs> on Saturday. Okay, that's a lot. And, and I just thought, okay, the, the Rangers, it's not even having to skate. They need someone to score 7,901 goals. And so I was like, here's what we're going to do. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're just going to trade. We're going to put Ross onto the, the, the Philly team, the Philly Flyers team, team yep. right? And it's going to make the games more competitive, yeah. right? Well, Rangers were three and zero, Flyers were zero and three, and you know what usually happens, yeah, on Sundays when that happens, yeah. Um, and it wasn't like a non-competitive game, but the Flyers then beat the Rangers, who they they beat them nine to three on Saturday. Okay, it was six to four with Ross getting an empty net. So it was okay. really a five to four five, game. The one goal game, essentially. Yes. Okay. And then the Rangers then played the silver game against the Caps, who I think only had one win against the Flyers the day before. The Rangers lost to a shootout Ooh. to the Caps. And the Flyers ended up winning a one goal game in the championship. Okay. And now... People on the Rangers aren't happy with you. And and people also on the on the team that lost the championship game aren't happy with me. Okay. Because they're like, oh, we had to do we had we had to do this. We had to play him. And some people said, Oh, he said you said he was too good to play on our team, but now we had to play against him. And I say, not too good. I said it wasn't it was unfair right. uh, with the way it was. And so I usually don't like to play God and make the trades. No. But this time I thought okay, this could make, this could make sense. It's going to make way more competitive games. And for me, for me, I, uh, I just, I want every game to end in a tie. I don't, I don't know if people realize that. Yeah. I don't, we, I don't give a shit who we wins. don't want anyone to win. Do I like to win? Sure. But I would rather tie every game and I would much rather have one goal games than six goal games. For sure. That's for sure. Right. Yeah. And so I just want to know people's thoughts, especially people. I, I see people in our chats that, they come to the drafts. What do they think? And now a couple guys on the Rangers were upset. A couple guys 
didn't really care, didn't care either way. Uh, the, the Islanders team that lost to them in championship were mad. And I was like, okay, well, even if he played for the Rangers, you would have to play him, to play him. and so, he probably would have beat you worse. Cause that team was better. Yeah. And so it's, it's just one of those things where, you know, I see, I, I, I think super, we're gonna call Johnny Dunham, super VIP, okay. super well, VIP, super, Johnny super Dunham. VIP. Uh, is the right thing to do. Teams were balanced when Ross went to the Flyers. That's what I think. Yeah. And I get it. Like people are ultra competitive. Some people are upset and mad, but I still think at the end of the day, what I did was right. I, I won't do. Here's what I, why I hated doing it too. Is that now in future tournaments, people are like watch this make a trade, right? Yeah. I don't want to make trade. The draft is the draft. The only reason I did this is because the, the mistake was fully on me. Right. If I would if I would have known Ross, uh, and he would have showed up to the draft, I would have traded him for the. I would have traded him for the the Flyers ringer anyway. Yeah. All right. But what, but what I, but what I should have done is I should have traded why I think they're all so upset is then they had to play with nine skaters and flyers played with 11. I should have traded the guy on the flyers, but, um, but I, you know, I think there, I think there was a, I think there was a, there, there, there was a lot of people that were just what's going on. And I asked most of the, both teams, if they were cool with it. And like the the our the Rangers the goalie was like Dan was on the team he was okay with it the, a couple other guys in the locker room were okay with it so I get it and and I, I see Tara Stanley you know she was on the team and uh, yeah it, I, I agree I should have done it on Saturday when it realized when I realized who he was <clears throat> but uh, you know I'm not I'm not a perfect person you know no, I, I, you're I not try, no I'm not I, I I'm okay. first a minute on yeah. record right here on okay. record we got it on record and. Uh, you know, but I, I, I really do like my goal is to make it fun for everybody. Sure. And I'm not trying to screw in. The only person I try to screw around personally, Jeff Peck. Yeah, that's it. For sure. Like, I like, fuck Jeff Peck. That's, <laughs> that's basically what I'm saying. And I say that with all due respect. Don't everyone, don't everyone run back to Jeff Peck and be like, oh my God, Nick said, fuck Jeff Peck. Jeff Peck knows. <laughs> he knows. He knows. So, yeah, I think, I think <clears throat> what. There's two things that I have from this. One, it's super important how you guys rate yourselves when you rate yourselves. Like, don't try to sandbag. Don't over promise under deliver. But like, try to get, I mean, the the list you go through to rate yourself is pretty detailed. Like, there's a paragraph for each one. So th that's important. Secondly, if a team's beating everyone 9-3, they're probably the only team having fun on the ice. Like everyone, everyone else said they don't probably hates play. it. They were right. trying to limbocker games. Like we don't want to play the Rangers in the championship game. How do we, how do we get out of that? They were trying right. to limbocker people. And, Classic and that limbocker. <clears throat> yeah. And so, you know, I, I just think it's, yeah, it's just one of those things. Like it's not going to happen very often, but in this right. one, I thought it was egregious. I thought it was egregious. Um, and here, here's what I, I know what's going to happen. We're going to get into a thing where Nick's team is winning. And people are going to say, oh, why don't you use a trade? Oh, Nick just wants to win. It, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. Luckily on this one, I didn't play for the Flyers and right. people didn't say, oh, Nick just did it, you know, so. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I like hearing people's thoughts on that. And, and you're right, rating people, rating yourself is important, but I'm not a cynic like you. I don't think people are doing it on purpose. Oh, I just I don't. definitely I, do. I mean, listen, Broderick puts himself as a one, as a joke. Well, I Limbacher do too. Puts but... himself as a one, but like, there's people that just, I mean, especially players that are really good. I, I know they're thinking, not because I'm really good, just because I, I've, I've talked with them, and they just said, "Listen, okay, I played, I played high level hockey, but there's so many people that are better than me, so you know, I'm, I'm a six in that thing. But then you got a guy that leads his beginner division in scoring, but he still doesn't skate real good, and he'll say." I'm the best player in my division. I'm a six. And it just, it just, yeah. I mean, it, it I get it. I get what's wrong. Uh, and maybe there, maybe there can be a better way. I just don't know what that better way is. I'm open to having a better way. I'm open. I really wanted beer league DB to, to catch on. And maybe it still will eventually where we could just do an algorithm of things and get everything into like, you know, a mathematical equation, or maybe, you know what, I'm just going to put everyone's name in AI and let AI fucking sort it. Just and then when people out. blame me, I'll be like, fuck AI, bud. Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah. You know, maybe that's the way to do. 
So, well, we can agree to disagree on the the people. I'm not saying everyone underrates themselves, but I think there are people out there that. Yeah. Listen, well, I've I've been in a situation where I heard that oh, X player had never played before, but knew people who did, so he knew how it worked and rated himself accordingly. It was your friend. I'm, <laughs> you did it and then you had exactly. him go outside and smoke like exactly he, like, i mean that wasn't at ours we would never allow that to happen at ours no right? it was, it was some, another tournament it was some, some second company. rate tournament for sure yeah. um but yeah i i mean i mean people people do plan and scheme and and, and you know and almost that that's actually as much as you, you don't want it to to screw the thing it's actually kind of fun and and romantic in a way <laughs> <laughs> that, that people are like planning, like they want to do this to get, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's sure. just one of those things where it's like, it, it's, it's just kind of cool. It's part of the game, right? It's just yeah. part, part of the game. So, um, speaking, when I talk about AI, I also want, are you, are you a crypto guy? No. Yeah. And not, not cause like, I'm like, Oh, crypto's fake money. Old man yell at the clouds. But like, just, I'm not confident enough that I'll be able to make money and make the right moves. So it's just not something I dabble in. So, I, I had some Bitcoin. I think I was, I can't remember how much I was up to point, point one, point one five, which what is not a lot of Bitcoin, but it is now. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, 10% of a Bitcoin, six grand. Yeah. Right. But I had it on this, this platform called block. And this is why I don't like crypto. I had it on this platform called BlockFi. Okay. Then they filed bankruptcy. Oh. And I don't get any of my Bitcoin back. I get like 700. They said, Hey, bankruptcy. Uh, here's our court ruling. You can get your money out now, but it's only $765. And I'm like, listen, I had $6,000 worth of Bitcoin. Well, it was, it, it was 4,000 until just recently. And so now I'm just like, fuck it. Like fucking sucks. Yeah. That's brutal. You know, I mean, I do have some of that Shibu Shibu Inu coin <laughs> and some, I have some Raven coin, but that's, I actually, but that's that's why I don't do it. It's like I just like there's too much uncertainty. I got paid. I got I got paid for a tournament in Ravencoin once. Did you? So this guy came to Mil- to Mil- when I had the RV. This guy came to the Milwaukee tournament. Had this okay. badass RV, like my RV on steroids. It's big. Okay. Like it looked like actual house inside. It was like a half a million dollar RV. And we just got talking. He's like, "Oh, I, I'm into crypto, and like I bought this with with Bitcoin winnings." like earnings, I guess you yeah. not winnings, but he's like, I invested uh, when it was, when it was still in the hundreds and now it's, it's in the thousands and I'm like, okay, cool. And so we, he, and so I was like, Oh, what's the next big thing? He's like, Oh, I think it's Raven coin. And so he paid me like 400, uh, $400 in, in Raven coin okay. at the time for a tournament. Now, now that $400 is worth like $1,600. Okay. That was a good investment on, on yeah. my end. Yeah. But I don't know. But I don't know what to. I don't know what to do with it. It's just sitting there, and sometimes yeah. it goes down. Well, sometimes should, it goes up. Should probably get it out before the company that you have it invested with goes bankrupt. Well, this is I a different. Suggest. This is a different one, yeah, but well, it could be. Yeah, you're right. I mean, maybe. But I just I, that's why I don't. I'm not. I don't understand crypto because it's like okay, this company had my Bitcoin, my fake, fake money that's yeah. out there wherever. But why can't they just give it back to me? Like why right. can't they just send it to another wallet? Yeah, because I think what they do is they cash it out to pay their debts, and then like they had so many debts that you only get yeah. a portion of yours back. I don't, well, I don't understand bankruptcy either. So I don't take it investing or uh, bankruptcy de- advice from me. Yeah, we're not lawyers. We're not lawyers here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I had to, what I understand bankruptcy only to the point that whenever I was got in that car wreck and that other lady that hit us didn't have insurance and my my wife passed away. Uh, I had to file bankruptcy because I was like 23 and had like $350,000 in medical debt. And what blows my mind about this whole situation, the backward ass Oklahoma, which I love Oklahoma. Don't get me wrong. That's where I'm from. I, I love Oklahoma in theory. Um, there is a law on the books where like, if, if the husband dies, the wife doesn't have to assume any of the debt. Okay. But if the wife dies, the husband does have to assume the debt. Yeah, Cause here you're I am step up. Yeah. Here I am in, in, you know, whatever year it was and having to assume all this debt. And I was like, and so I had to file bankruptcy and they were basically like, okay, well, your debt's gone. You don't have to pay any of it. And cool. And, and then it was on my credit for 10 years. So yeah. uh, that's basically all, all I, I had to pay a lawyer. 
uh, I still have to pay my student loans. Can't write off student loans in a bankruptcy. And, and I took like all, I got uninsured motorists. I got $50,000 uninsured motorists. The lawyer took a third of that. So whatever I said, Hey, hospital, you can have all of this, all of it. Cheers. And they're like, okay, but you still owe us the other 260 grand. I was like, wow, that doesn't sound like a fair deal. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. So that's basically it. Okay. Well, we could rant, we could rant all day about Listen. hospitals and bills and shit. Joe says, take out the 1600, put it on red, then you'll have 3200. I am due. Yeah. I am. Due. I am due. When, are, anything, when am I going to Vegas due. again? Yeah. When am I going to Vegas again? I got, I got, I'm due. Hey, so last time I was on a cruise for my birthday, a couple weeks ago, I learned how to play craps. Okay. Do you know how to play craps? Nope. Most, Roll fun, dice. You'll ha- most fun you'll have at a casino by far. Will I win? I mean, I did on the boat, on the boat. Most part, I think I won like a, about a thousand bucks. Okay. But I saw some people lose some money too, so yeah. I'm not guaranteeing it. But basically, for me, because I am, because I you're I'm due. Like, yeah, I am. Yeah, due. we we should get you up rolling. Since you're due, we want you to be the roller. Because the whole point of craps is if you're if you're playing with the roller, you want them to roll as long as possible. Yeah. What 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 are you gonna roll though? So it, it's it's a little complicated. You want to roll a seven or an eleven on the the first roll, right? Okay. And then after that. If you don't roll a 7 or 11, and as long as it's not a 2, 3, or 12, so let's say it's an 8, basically you want to keep rolling and you want to hit an 8 before you hit a 7. But during your rolls, people can put money on certain numbers. So like I like playing 6 and 8. So if you roll a 6 or an 8 before you roll the 7, you get paid on those and you can do it multiple times. It's it's super fun. It's a little bit like... You got to be at a table to learn. Like you got to be sitting down at a table and watching. But once you start learning some of the the ways to do it, it's it's a lot of fun. Hmm, interesting. Someone's saying we should go bet on horses. I'm down for that. We should. I, mean, just, I don't know anything about it, but I'm down to bet on a, anything. We sh- yeah, we should just have a money like a money lining show where we just go bet on weird things. Yeah. Like in in I was watching since I'm going to Japan. I don't know if you guys know this. I'm going to Japan. Not a big deal. Um. <laughs> I've been watching Tokyo Vice. Have you seen the show? I have not. Okay, it's a good show. But I I see like P- Penchiko parlors. There's got to be like weird shit you can bet on in Japan. Oh, I bet. And I'm going to bet on it. Nice. I'm going to I'm going to bet on everything in Japan. If I if I see someone put a bet, I'm going to be like, "Yep, well, yep, that one." And I'm just going to I'm going to yeah. point to the the thing. That's the one I want and see see what happens, right? Okay. Did you know Solar Joe is uh he's he's dealing craps for 26 years? Yeah, I, I knew Solar Joe worked in a casino. So I did too. I didn't know what he, he was doing. He could crap. definitely probably teach you better than I could. Like I got like a crash course, but I I picked it up pretty quickly. I think you would too. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm a pretty smart guy. Pretty yeah. pretty intelligent up in the old yeah. brain. But I all yeah. So okay. So we just need to start doing bets on things. Okay. Speaking when are we going of to th- Vegas? I want to go to Vegas this year. Yeah. Okay. Well, Vegas is in December, but someone's trying to talk us into doing a summer one. I don't know. If we, the problem is Vegas in the summer. It's so fucking hot. Really hot. And I, I like it to be, I like it to be warm. Like, listen, mid nineties is cool. Mid one hundreds, like so 105, cool. 107, 110. Not so cool. That's not cool. And I know people are like, well, hang out by the pool. Listen, I love looking at chicks in bikinis and swimming in pools. I, I love it. That's, that's awesome. Right. But I, I, but then like, it's kind of one of those things where like, you're like, okay, cool. Chicken in a bikini, but it's fucking hot. Yeah. And the water feels like I'm in a bathtub. Yeah. And I have a lot of tattoos, which the sun doesn't do great on. So like, I'm not yeah. really trying to be out in the sun for that long anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, whew, man. So, okay. So we've covered crypto. We'd covered the, we covered the trade, the infamous trade. What else, what else do we need to cover today? Did you see uh did you see the goal that happened in the Preds game last night? Who did they play? They played the Canadians. No, I don't I don't want to talk. I, I, sh- I shouldn't have asked cuz I know you don't support the inferior uh level of of hockey that is the NHL. Okay. Um can we talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about it. It's listen, I I like I, I'm a hockey guy. It's not even that I it, like everyone when I say it everyone's like, "Oh, well what is standard?" And I'm just, for me, I, like if I, I want to spend money on things, right? Like let's yeah. say I'm going to spend money to go to a game. I want to know that it's like a fairly 
a, a fairly even. It's like a dex. That's why I made the trade. I wanted to be a, a matchup, right? You you want them to trade mid game if they need to. If to they need even to. out the teams. No, no. My my problem is is probably more on like the officiate. And, and listen, this is not a dig at officials. I'm not okay. trying to dig. Officials have a hard job. I get it. I 100 percent get it. I just you know you watch it, and and I've even tried to watch games that weren't Flames games. And there's a lot of like where calls are subjective and they lead to determining the outcome of games. Okay. And I just, and it's not even, it's not even that I want them to do away with officials. Like I don't, I don't want these officials when they make wrong calls to go out back, get in a firing squad and get shot dead. That's not what I want, okay. Good. but I would, <laughs> but I would like, I would like to know what goes through their, I would like, yeah, I would like for them to know, like, to know what goes through their mind when they're making the call and not so a little bit of explanation, maybe just, like a press conference after the game where yes. officials have to answer some questions. And yeah, just, to, just to, listen, you made the call. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Let me, let me know. Let other fans know. Right. And you know, I would even, I would even Patreon the NHL if they could make this happen. I would, I would pay extra. Like, you know, like everyone pays like center ice, right. They pay the, yeah. for to watch that. I would pay a little extra to get the refs on there and just to answer their calls. And I know that people say, Oh, well, if they, if they have to be subject to the criticism of the media, well, the players and the coaches do. Right. The owners I'm, do. I'm actually with you on this one. You know, I think, oh, I think refs you. should have to answer questions like, and they are subjective. So like, I don't necessarily know, like you're not going to argue with them, but they can at least go, Hey, this is what I saw. And this is why I called it that way. This is the standard I was trying to set. This is whatever, right? Yep. Um, and then at least then a ref has to think about it when they're making a call. Like, I'm going to have to answer to this later. Yeah. I don't know if you remember way back in the day, but there was a hot mic. Not way back in the day. A few years ago, hot mic at a Preds game. And the ref said on the hot mic, I was trying to call one early on Nashville. Yeah. And, like, they, he basically got fired for it because it's like, even though we kind of know that goes on like ma game management where you try to get early penalties to set a tone, you can't say it out loud uh, on a hot mic. Like that's just, um, but at least then like they have to answer for that. So it's like, were you just trying to call one because your game management or, you know, what were you doing essentially? Well, and, and, and listen, as a referee, you know, you know that sometimes you have to take control of a game for sure before it gets out of hand. And I'm not even saying that that's a horrible thing to do, right? Because we know what happened. I mean, we know that happens, right? I just, like, there was, like, remember in the playoffs when the, when the, the Sharks, the, the comeback with the, the Sharks game? Yes. When they made the call on the faceoff. Like, let me know what's going through your head. And people are saying refs and umps in all sports. Refs in the, in the NFL are graded. Yeah. Okay. The major league, major league baseball literally has a fucking strike zone thing where it shows balls and strikes and umpires are graded on how well they did on, on that stuff. The NHL is just like, ah, fuck it. Here we <laughs> The game's over, you know, and, it's, on. and, and the, the, and the thing about it is, is like, as a fan, like I went to a flames game with, with my kid, uh, and, and Tannis and, and we went for family day and it was like 260 bucks a seat. So that's 750 bucks. And then you go and probably spend 200 bucks in concessions and food. And if Cooper wants some kind of thing, like you're spending a, $1,100 to go to a game as your family and you, you can't get it right. And the fact that they're pushing gambling so much, yeah. how, how do they expect me to put fucking money on a game when I, I don't even know, they don't even know what goalie interference is. They don't okay. know what offside is half the time. And so it's like, you know, what do you, what do you do? And so I like, I'm not saying that I hate hockey when I say NHL is a substandard sport. I'm saying that there's a lot they could do to improve the game and and make it better for the fans so we understand that that's all okay that seems fair and so when you say i didn't watch it because i i usually only watch the flames because i only have time and listen just the other day i was i was when i was sick did i tell you did i talk about last time how my tv blew up no yeah i'm just sitting in my sports room sick tv's been on for like four days straight because that's all i could do and I just hear a pop and then smoke comes out of my TV. Oh, and I'm like, fuck. So I went and bought another one. Okay. Like, it's crazy here. Right. You know how cheap TVs are these days? They're super cheap. It's oh crazy. My. Like 
how inexpensive televisions are and right how, now. And how thin they are. I mean, yeah. I had like a, the curved Samsung, like 65 inch, or it was nice. Yeah. Uh, but this one, like I have like another Samsung and it's like 75 inches. Yeah. And it was under a thousand bucks. Yeah. Oh, easy. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. It's insane. I, I just, it blows my mind. But in, and then I watched the Flames game and I was like, I do miss watching hockey, but I, I also like when the game's on, I do get upset when the calls are wrong against my team. Right? It's, it's fair. It's almost like, it's almost like basically they should just put, remote controls in the stands and just let the crowd call penalties at, at some point. That's kind of what it feels like, but um, all right. So since we're talking about refs, you can either tell your, tell your Nashville goal story that I didn't see, or you can tell a ref story. Let's, let's do the, the goal story last night. Okay. So uh, the refs were up or the refs, <laughs> the refs were up to zero. See? No, the Preds were up to zero and uh, they got scored on uh, like late in the, I want to say first period. Face-off happens, so it's 2-1. Face-off happens, comes back to the D. The D-man for Montreal skates it up to the red line like they always do and dumps it in, right? Dumps it in across the boards. It nails a stanchion in between two pieces of glass, and Soros goes behind the net to catch it, but it hits off the glass and just goes straight into the net uh, from the right side to tie it up 2-2. They scored two goals in eight seconds. It was pretty incredible. That's nuts. Preds ended up losing the game, uh, <laughs> but that's some that's some crazy puck luck out there for it to to go off off the window there and and into the net. Like, have you ever seen anything like that in beer league? I don't think I've I mean, ever seen anything like that. I've seen a lot of weird shit in beer league, but you know what would be even crazier if we had a producer of this show and that we're talking about this, they could get a fucking clip and put it right in this in this episode. That would be awesome. That's Wouldn't what we that- need. Wouldn't that be insane? Yeah. We need a we need a producer that'll jump on here and do this shit. Um and listen, we you know how we could get a producer? If people went to our Patreon and supported us or donated on PayPal cuz we got we got to pay him. Like we can't just expect producers to work for free. All that one guy did tell us he was our producer, but he's done but he's done nothing yeah. for us. You, listen, you can't just tell us you're our producer. We need you to show us that you're our producer. Yeah, produce something is what we're saying. Yeah. Right? Okay. Speaking of, before we even jump into a ref story, if there's a producer out there, you want? Can I talk about who I think we should get on the show? Yeah. Do you yeah, know who should. Cody Hodgson is? He, he was an NHL player. Did yeah. He played for the Vancouver Canucks. I think he played for Buffalo for a while. Oh, Buffalo's trash. And then Sorry, he Dad. came to Nashville. Okay. And then he got some disease, and I should have researched and told you what it was, but he had some disease, and it forced him to retire eight years ago. Like, I won't say prime, but, like, early in his career. Like, way, way earlier than it should have been. Um, and he was, like, a kind of, like, uh, you know, a touted prospect. Like, he was he was good. Um, you know, he wasn't a superstar or anything, but, like, had to retire early. So this year... He's healthy again, which again, I don't know what that means because I don't even know uh, much about the the disease that that caused him to retire. But he went to Milwaukee to play in the AHL now that he's healthy, scored in his first game back, and then scored in every game for like five games in a row to come back to his professional career. That's the guy we should get on here. I would love to hear his story of like being an NHLer, being forced to retire, the you know coming back to professional hockey yes it's the ahl but it's still professional hockey still a high level uh and then being effective like eight years after retiring it's crazy okay um i I was correct in that he did play for the canucks okay uh, uh, as well Uh, and it looks like he had malignant hyperthermia okay and so i'm trying to see uh it's a severe reaction to certain drugs used for anesthesia. Interesting. It uh, typically includes a dangerously high body temperature, rigid muscles or spasms, a rapid heart rate, rate and other symptoms. Okay. Which uh, I could see why you wouldn't be able to play hockey if you have those things going on. Yeah. I mean, I have some of them. Rapid heart rate sometimes. I get rigid muscles, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we, we should. If, 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 if we have a, listen, I'll, we'll talk to anybody. Anybody that will yeah. talk to us, we'll talk to them. And there's someone else I want. There's a new movie that came out uh, about beer league. I don't know if you've seen, have you seen the ads for it? I have not. Um, yeah. So there's a new movie and, and people, they, they, 
they tend to get, get on these um, kicks where, you know, beer league becomes a thing and then, then nothing ever comes of them. But this movie is already on Amazon prime. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my, the, the follower here. Okay. It's called late game movie. Okay. Late game movie. I believe it's already on Amazon prime. I know that they have been on spit and chicklets. Um, and so we, we need to, we need to watch it. Okay. Me and you, we need to it watch tonight. it and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it on our next week's podcast. Uh, but you know, I think it would be cool. It just like, I think we should do shit like this on the reg is we should like, when we go to like Boston, we should find like a movie theater to rent out and just invite whoever wants to come, pl- c- come watch and we watch a movie. Right. I like it. So, yeah. And so Casey Murphy said he was going to watch it, but it's $10 and it's cheap. Listen, the only way people, the only way people can produce stuff like this is if people pay for it. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, you Casey's want content? A, you got to pay for it. <laughs> Casey's a VIP, so okay, we can't cool. we can't give him too much shit. Okay, um, sure. but yeah, so I I think that we should do stuff like that. And 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 speaking of 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 other stuff that we should do, uh, when we went to when, when we went to Philadelphia, uh, obviously I couldn't play hockey because the lungs, you know. But yeah. I got invited to Top Golf. Okay. On Saturday night, yeah, and I went. Usually, usually I like to, you know, kind of keep to myself, but I'm a man of the people. And so, you know, when I get invited, sometimes I go, sometimes, I, sometimes I get a little antsy. I just get out yeah. there and go. I haven't swung a golf club in years. Right. But I was out there fucking throwing darts, bud. Were you? And so now I'm like, you know what? Maybe we should do some golf tournaments. I'm, I, I don't like golfing, but I like top golf. I also went to top golf recently with uh, a company owned by Frank Panico. Uh, oh. He invited me to go, and I was also just I mean, na- nailing the back wall every time, just straight out to the back wall, <laughs> like it, like it was my job. Uh, you were going over; they had to come out and say, uh, "Excuse me, Lombard, can you uh, please stop hitting over that? Can, can you please stop uh, hitting the the interstate?" Um. So I mean, I, and yes, okay, we could go to Top Golf as a group, but I think like doing an actual golf tournament would be fun. Where it doesn't matter. I'm so how bad at everything else. It's okay. Like off the tee. <laughs> Everything else, Mm-mm. yeah. You, I find I like if I'm hitting a good drive. In, in my history, then I'm not doing anything else good. Yeah. But if I can't drive it, then I can do the other stuff, and it's just like you know. Yeah. But I think just have a bunch of non golfers golfing. Okay. I mean, It'd I'll do fun. it for for the brand. You know what I mean? Like for the brand for and you. for charity. I think we're gonna do charity. Okay. I, I think that's, we're gonna find a charity. Too. Um, I don't know what kind of charity. I'm open for suggestions. It seems like everyone's doing like, you know. There's puck for autism, uh, there's uh, MS, there's cancer, but I'm thinking about maybe something that hits close to home for me and some some diabetes. Okay, you know, because I'm diabetes. Yeah, and can we and do it in Florida? There's lots of golf courses. In Florida. Yeah, well, I, I okay, yes, and I think we we uh, we could also. I, I was talking to Johnny Dunham who who plays golf, super VIP, uh, Johnny Dunham, and he uh, he said we should get one going in Jersey Shore. Okay, that'd be that'd be you know, be and sick. that way you can you play golf, and then we can go to the beach, yeah. just, just hang on the beach, and you know, try not to get robbed. I think that's what happens at the Jersey Shore. Okay, um, and I think that would I think that would be a, a cool time. Yeah, and raise raise a little money for charity, um, and and just have fun, just kind of expand expand the the global reach of the brand. I like of it. BLPA. BLPA. Well, I'm in. I hate golf, but I'm in. But you'll play. I but don't we'll, hate golf. I just don't like it as much as I like Top Golf. We'll do fun stuff. Like one time I went uh, to a golf tournament a long time ago and on one of the holes you drove sitting down on a toilet. Okay. And so I thought that was kind of cool and and funny and unique. And then maybe we'll get a hockey. We'll do like a putting contest. Like when you okay. come off, you but you putt with a hockey, hockey stick. Okay. That, would, that would be I'd probably cool. be better. Yeah. Um, it's, like, it's like Happy Gilmore. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? Like I listen, I, I used to play golf one summer with my dad because my dad golfs all the time and my brother and and I, I i played in some tournaments and i know that everyone cheats on like the long drive like it's always the last it's always the last group that wins long drive of course oh look i drove it <laughs> and uh rip chubbs is why it's all it's all in the hits. the hits it's all in the hits and uh and so i think that we would have to find a way to combat the cheating because listen i know us hockey players we're going to cheat the fuck out of things right yeah 
nor te- we're cheaters. Yeah. That's the way we go. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. That's what that's, that's right. what I was saying. So. Which is why I'm always cheating. Yeah. Well, I, I see it in the draft round. I see it in the chugs. I see it, you know, I see Everywhere. people always try to take timeouts. I myself have picked up a puck off the ice while I got knocked down and threw it in <laughs> and try tried to get it to count as a goal. I get it. I get it. We have to do that kind of stuff. So uh so that that's kind of on the docket for me in terms of what I want to do kind of extra this summer. Okay. But what we need to do really is get more teams and team tournaments. That would be yeah. crazy. Lake Placid opened yesterday. The decks. Okay. Yeah. In one day, 55 out of 84 spots taken. Oh, that's nuts. Let's go. That's nuts. when is Lake Placid. It's in September, the week okay. after Columbus. So second oh. weekend, like the, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So, um, what are we going to go to next? You want me to tell my rough story? Sure, let's talk about rough story. All right. This is a, a little PSA for for people out there. So I told you guys I refed 15 games over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It's a lot of games. It's probably too many. Monday, I had two more games, and they were upper C games. So in terms of how the level of hockey in Nashville, upper C is the second highest league. B is the highest. We no longer have an A league. It goes B, upper C, middle C, lower C, D. It's essentially how it breaks down. So upper C players are pretty good. They're like decent players. For Nashville, they're really good. Probably decent anywhere else. So I had two upper C games. Did not want to do them. I was still hurting from my 15 games over the weekend. Specifically didn't want to do them because they're upper C, because it's fast skating. It's not like a rookie or a D game where I can just kind of lay back, keep up with everybody. So I do the games. First game goes fine. It's nice and easy. Couple of penalties, nothing crazy. No one really arguing. It's a nice, nice game. Second game is at 11 p.m. at night. Game goes through. And as the game's winding down, I'm like, wow, two easy games tonight. Who would have guessed? Nice and easy. Not a lot of people out there, you know, doing anything crazy. Nobody really complaining. Like, this is awesome. So the teams go through the handshake lines, and then me and the other ref are standing there. We got to kind of wait till everyone clears off the ice. And one of the guys from one of the teams comes up to us and says, hey, I don't really want to harp on you guys. I'm not the type of guy to complain about officiating. But, you know, I just uh, I had to change my level of play tonight because I felt unsafe. The game felt unsafe. And, you know, really, you know, a lot of contact away from the puck. Uh, you know, some refs like to call that and and keep the game under control. But, you know, just it wasn't happening tonight, and I really felt unsafe. And I got it. We're like, okay, thanks for letting us know. We appreciate it. I get into the locker room with the other ref, and I'm like, can you think of one thing that happened? Usually when someone complains, they're like, hey, this team was whatever, slashing, hacking, running into people. I can at least think back and be like, oh, he's probably thinking of this time and I didn't call it because of X, Y, and Z or whatever. We got in the locker room and both of us were like, we cannot think of a single time where there was anything remotely close to undangerous, to to dangerous, Mm -hmm. unsafe. And we never heard the other team complain or bring up anything. So... I'm not asking for people to complain uh, to refs. That's not what I'm looking for. But it just was odd to me that I never heard anything about the gameplay or what was going on. And then at the end of the game, a guy from the losing team comes up and says, well, I had to change my my style of play because the game felt unsafe. It was just a really weird interaction. Yeah, that is a, I mean, hmm. I mean, that's a weird, I mean, I guess you can't really control how people feel because if you look at, especially when you're doing lower level games, like I'll find like when I go down and I'll like, I'll play in some of them, they think that if you even touch them on accident, that you were body checking them. Correct. Right. So it's, it's, yep. it's, it's just like refs, like it's, 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 it's subjective to, to that player. Right. Yep. And so maybe just that player, you know, and, and, and Hey, and props Props for him coming up after the game and not yelling in your face. Yeah, for sure. During the game, you know, so. And and Casey put it out there. A lot of people are confused between no checking and no contact, which goes back to what you were saying. 
Yeah. Um, and I have to explain that to people all the time as a ref. Like hockey is not beer league hockey is not non-contact. That yes. is not the case. It is no checking. So you can't lay a check, but there is certainly going to be body contact with other players in almost every game for almost every player. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, 100% agreed. And as much as you try to avoid, that's why people say, well, listen, I'm hurt. I'm not supposed to be out here, but I'm just going to come play and, and stay away from people. It's like, it's, it's just inherently hockey is a contact sport. You're going to run into each other. You're going to get close. You're going to get around the net. You're going to, it's just, it's just the way it is. I mean, sometimes I don't even run into people. I just run into the boards. So, I mean, that, yeah. that, that kind of stuff just happens. Right. So yeah, it's just, just the, just the way it goes. So, um, yeah, I mean that that's a, that's a good that's a good ref story. Um, we want to hear any other ref stories. One thing we started doing also, you don't get to see these, but I should we should play them on here. I think sometimes uh, on Mondays, every Monday in the Facebook group, we do live barn Mondays where people okay. can post their live barn clips. Yeah, and we should play we should play some. There's some wild stuff that happens in, in hockey, right? I've yeah. seen one going around here just recently where the uh, like a guy skated around and like kind of two-handed the guy in the head as he was skating by him and then then it came back around a guy just fucking lit the guy up and i'm just like holy shit man like one what would make you want to two-hand someone right and then two i i can't imagine getting blown up like this like this guy did but uh yeah i think we should start playing those for sure because i don't get to see them i don't have facebook yeah so uh as, as you can see from our comments in the chat uh people are excited about lake placid yeah and i like placid is a i mean are you gonna go to that one I want to go to Columbus, so it's going to be tough to do back-to-back weekends. Mirrors. Yeah. Um, But you said it's September? Yeah. Yeah. See, if it was summer, I could probably pull that off, but September will be tough to do back-to-back. But maybe I do Placid and don't do Columbus. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, both of of them are good. I mean, obviously, you know know Columbus is Columbus, right? It's B-O-P-A, Mecca. Yep. Philly's vying for it, but I can't get teams to register in Philly for the team tournament. That's what's holding them back right now. Yeah, because they show up in Columbus. For the they do tournament. show up in Columbus. Uh, we also have a team tournament in Lake Placid in August. Okay. Where you get to play. I mean, you get to play on this, this you know, the rink. Yeah. Miracle, where the, the lungs rink. feed the wolves, you know. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe so, I, I figure out how to make it to one of them. Maybe I do Columbus team tournament and then Placid draft or vice versa. Yeah. Just build a team. Get Frank. Let's get let's get Frank. Let, let's wait. What's what's his company called? Uh, Exhibitor Source. Yeah, let's. He he's needs probably to he's going to yell at me for saying that on here. What? This is free promo. This is okay. free promo. Free promo. Yeah, I mean, you already said it when you said he went to, when you went Top Golf. Yeah. So he he just needs to make Exhibitor Source hockey jerseys. Yeah. Get an Exhibitor Source team, and just get out there and exhibit things. You know what I'm saying? Like ex- exhibit them hockey skills. Is what he needs to do. Exactly. Uh, that, that I mean, that would be a good one. So in Japan, I've been watching TikTok. I'm hip. Okay. I know. I know. And you watch TikTok at all? I don't. No, I I lose. Like at, at night, I'll just scroll and just watch TikTok videos. And actually, I have to. Okay, I I have to pull up TikTok. But you know, Tannis is a dancer, right? Like yeah. she she went to school for dance, and uh, she she worked in in the industry for a while, and now she owns her own dance competition. She says that me and you because we did those TikTok videos that we should, we should do this TikTok video. She found one for us to do it and dancing? it's a dance oh, boy. obviously. Um, and I, I mean, I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, here it is. Hold on. I'm not a dancer. It's like a, it's like a little, uh, line be- dancing thing. Yeah. For our Beyonce song. Oh yeah, she's got that new song, Poker Face or something. No, it's a uh, uh, Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em, yeah, yeah. So she says, like, here's the Dallas Stars Ice Girls doing it, and she says we should learn this and do it. Okay, I mean, I I think I could. It doesn't. Nothing looks crazy hard. Yeah, I mean, not, yeah, it doesn't look hard. It's just me and you. It's it's not going to be as nearly as attractive as the Dallas Ice. Maybe. I mean, maybe more. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not we, sure which. Yeah, I. It would be it would be attractive. Maybe we can get everyone on the ice just doing it, doing this this line. Dance. Oh, I, we're gonna do it on skates. We're not even gonna do it. Well, I I mean, should we? Okay. Should, I mean, should we? I mean, I don't know. I mean, Probably. tennis is, tennis like wants to teach us. Like she thinks she thinks we need to be taught how to dance. No. Can you believe this? Tennis, we got this. Tennis, listen. You went to school. 
I learned in the streets. <laughs> You know how many times I've seen the movie You Got Served? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a classic in the 2000s. Yep. Yeah. And, hey, so classic, they brought out You Got Served 2. So, you know. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think I saw that one. I don't even think they made that, but I, I maybe they did. I don't know. Um, okay. So, I, I've been watching TikTok, going to Japan, and, uh, like, it's insane some of the things that go on in Japan. I Like, I, Content Girl Brooklyn has talked me into doing this five-hour head massage oh jesus where they like they like have a camera and they like put it on your scalp and they show you how damaged your scalp is and then they massage you that's what i want to see yeah like, oh yeah like i don't have uh uh issues with my scalp now not being able to grow hair <laughs> now i'm gonna have to worry about how damaged the rest of this motherfucking scalp is <laughs> um but i'm gonna do it because she's like oh usually there's like a three-month waiting list and i got us put on uh we're, we're in we're in. Okay. And I'm like, listen, massage, I'm in. Like, cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm super stoked about, I, I am super stoked about the massage. But there's also like this, like they're a big like thrifting place. Okay. And, yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to go. Get, last time. Yeah. And I'm going to go in and get some stuff. Okay. I'll probably buy you some, bud. Okay. I appreciate we're, that. We're going to, we're going to be bougie as fuck. Well, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to find the most gaudy, gaudy luxury items. And we have to, we have to, wear it around every time we're out in, in like okay. drafts. I'm in. So, um, so yeah, so we got Omaha this weekend. Yep. I won't Jason was going to go to Omaha was, was, but then when he found out flights were asinine, yeah, he switched okay. over to Boston. Yep. Now we're going to go to Boston. So there's going to be a live, live episode in Boston for sure. For sure. Yep. Um, oh, oh, by the way, you, I don't know if Jeff Peck's still watching, but he did come in earlier and say hi to you. Oh, did he? In the chat. Yeah. Um, shout out Jeff Peck. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know I love me some Jeff Peck. I, I do love me some Jeff Peck too, but it's just like I said, if there's one person that I'm going to fuck with, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be Jeff Peck. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, uh, so then Boston's where, and you know what else I want to do? And and we, we obviously lobster we did rolls. The, lobster rolls. That's going to be bench burger. Well, Johnny Dunham, by the way, did you see? Did you see the bench burgers I did. this year? I did. did. We want to talk about those Reaper fries, bud. But I, I don't like hot stuff anyway. <laughs> I got, I got, I love hot stuff. I got tum tum issues. Yeah. All right. And I can shit myself without eating anything. So when you start putting, when you start putting that kind of stuff in there, it's just, and I told him, and I told him, I said, listen, I said, I, I just, I don't know if I can do it. And he's like, you got to, yeah. you, you got it. You got to do it. And I'm like, well, listen, to, into it. if you, well, no, I'm just, I'm a man of the people. Okay. And if, if you bring it out, who am I to then not try it? That's fair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I, I tried it. I reviewed it. And basically, no one needs to eat Reaper fries. That's <laughs> basically the review. It's like they're so hot. Like it's, it's, it's not enjoyable. Like I don't, under, I don't understand how burning your mouth it, to pain is enjoyable for some people. Yeah. So like. There is certainly I I love spicy food, love it, but there certainly is a level that's too spicy. Like it's it's spicy and hot. There's flavorful, and yes. then there's just it's just spice, like it just burns. Yeah, and that's the thing. And this just burned. Like I didn't even I didn't even try the. Uh, there was like two pickles on top, like they were just sitting. They had no spice on them. That burnt the fuck out of my like <laughs> before I even did the video. I was like, oh, I want a pickle. That even burnt the fuck out of my mouth just from the residuals. It had Reaper particle index on it, RPI, <laughs> and it was just the Reaper particle it, index was it, high it, in that box. Yeah, it was it was so high in that box. Uh, but the Assad's hot chicken. Oh, I like, thought I you liked that one. Oh, ooh, but it was so good, yeah. and it wasn't like okay, the chicken was good, but whatever sauce, whatever house sauce Assad makes, ooh, good. It, oh, it was good, and I don't know if that's how all Nashville hot chicken sandwiches are. Like, do they are they all like chicken with some kind of special sauce on them? No, usually Nashville hot chicken, the spices are on the chicken, like it's a dry rub. Oh, it's a dry rub, and then they. Just, it, but is it like moist chicken? Yeah, it's usually still pretty good, but they can be pretty hot too. Like, what they always say, like if you go to a real Nashville hot chicken place, like whatever you normally get, get one step down. So if you like hot, then you should get medium. If you like medium, you should get mild. If you like mild, you probably shouldn't eat there. What, 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 what is the, in like Hattie B's is like the famous Hattie B's and place? Prince's. Yeah. Yeah. Are the two, two big famous ones. 
Okay, I'm gonna try. I guess I have to try that now when I go to Nashville as a bench burger. I'll have to get okay, a Hattie yeah. B's. I'll do it with you. Right? Yeah. Okay. Someone tell me I gotta try Bucky's ghost pepper beef jerky. Listen, <laughs> I, I I did a I I used to do beef jerky reviews, yeah. and then I just ran out of like different beef jerkies that I could try. Like yeah. when I go to gas stations, because they're all so many. Yeah, they're yeah. they're all changed shit. There's probably an unlimited amount of beef jerky. But not that I can just get it at a gas station. Right. Yeah. You know, it's a little harder to get. And so, but here's the deal. Like no man's land is my favorite. That's okay. my favorite beef jerky. I like the hot, but it makes me have diarrhea. <laughs> I eat it even though I get diarrhea because that's how much I like it. Okay. So I just, I don't, yeah, I mean, it's, I just like, I, I, it used to be when I was younger, like, cause uh, no man's land is made in Oklahoma in the panhandle okay. of Oklahoma. Gotcha. You could only get it. I can remember it was exit two twenty two. Uh, an hour and a half from my house. You could get it from there. And there was uh, the beef jerky emporium. You could get it. And now it's in gas stations. All it's in loves. It's in, which is loves is an Oklahoma store too, but it's in loves. It's in other travel stops. It's so good. I mean, if you like, it's like a drier jerky, but it's got like the smoked flavor. Like it's yeah. like liquid smoke flavor. I really like it. It's my favorite. And so uh, I should go back to reviewing beef jerkies, but it's going to have to be, people are going to have to send them, send me their local beef jerkies. Okay. I like try. that. Yeah. Because I, because I, I can't, usually I just get it at a gas station and there's only so much. There was one weird one in Vegas called like alien, alien farm, alien moon jerky. And it was actually pretty good. Um, but another of my favorite is damn good beef jerky. Okay. It's, it's, it's it actually, it's, it's in New York. It, it's a, it's, it's a good one. Uh, min, 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 is, is a good one. That's in, that's in an Ohio beef jerky. Okay, and I found it. I found it a lot there. So there's a lot of good beef jerkies. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing up beef jerky is because I'm probably. I mean, I will take a bite of ghost pepper beef jerky, but I'm probably not going to enjoy it. To yeah. be honest with you, it's going to affect the rating. Spicy. Yeah, you know one. You, you I think know how, you gave uh, the Reaper fries a negative 100. The, oh, I, I was so out of my mind. I gave it a negative zero, which isn't <laughs> even a fucking number. It, it was so hot in my mouth. It that wasn't even. You negative couldn't even zero think of an actual number. integer. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, that's how bad it was. I mean, listen, I'm sure it's probably good. Like if it didn't have the hot, like I like cheese, I like chicken, I like fries. That's all stuff I love. Yeah. But whatever the heat that, I mean, fuck, bud. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I think that uh, I'll try Bucky's ghost pepper beef jerky next time I go to Bucky's. Yeah. But I just need people to send me their, whatever is their local famous beef jerky. Like I've had all the fucking big name brands, but I don't need to dabble in that anymore. You just need to dabble in like this local made shit. See, yeah. see what's, see what's popping, you know? Yep. So, okay. So we're going to Omaha, Dr. Seuss theme, jacked, going to Boston, friends theme, jacked, jacked, Ann Arbor canceled, unjacked, <laughs> negative jacked, negative <laughs> shout out, Jersey Tim, uh, just for fun. And, uh, shout out Cosentino, the whole Cosentino family. Yeah. Uh, shout out super VIP, Johnny Dunham. Shout out. And then 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 we get into the 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 bashes. We we still need Burlington teams. We still need Virginia Beach teams. I don't want to have to cancel them, but I will. <laughs> you sound like a dad that's threatening to turn the car around. I'll turn this car right around. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> what I don't understand is how people so many people are like, yeah, do them, do them, do them, and then they don't register. Nobody signs up. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand that. Yeah. I'm here. There's there's a guy named Blue Shoe Magoo. It just said, "Hey boys, hey, what's hey. going on, Blue Shoe Magoo?" It's that's a good name. Yeah. That's a cla- that's that's fucking that's a name right there. Yeah. I might change name. my uh, so people don't think I'm racist. I might change my screen name, Blue <laughs> Shoe Magoo. Um. So so then we have that, and then we have Cleveland. Yep. Are you gonna Are you coming to Cleveland for sure? Because it isn't 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 Kate's family from there? Yeah. Okay. Just outside so, of Cleveland. Yeah. Cle- Cleveland. I don't know what kind of what what theme should we do for Cleveland? You think? Oh, I really liked the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Can we revisit I w- that? I was thinking that, and I even mentioned that to Tim, and I was like, I want to do it, but I want all the jerseys to be as badass as the Beatles one. Yeah. Because that Beatles one was fucking... Although, I have the Biggie one, and I get more compliments on that jersey than any any other jersey I own. What if we did... Uh, and listen, I don't know how many rappers are in the Rock There's and Roll There's got to be enough. But I think if we did like a rap, like a rap battle, it's the yeah. Cleveland rap battle. Yes. Uh, and we do Biggie, Tupac, Tupac, 
Bone Thugs and Harmony, who are from Cleveland. Let's go. Um, MGK, maybe. I mean, he's kind of rap, but not really. Yeah, but let's see who's in. The, let's see what rappers are in. Run DMC for sure. What rappers are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Brad BLPA for life. My Run DMC, NWA, Jay Z, LL Cool J, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, Public Enemy, Beastie Boys, Pioneer, Grandmaster Flash, and Furious Five are the ones Plen- that just come up. Plenty, plenty uh, to choose from from there. So I would say Biggie, yeah. Tupac, Jay Z are musts. Run DMC probably a must. But, I, I would mean, throw Beastie Boys in there because they were like kind of revolutionary for their time. Bunch of white boys rapping. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, do do we just do Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or do we do or do we just do like the famous rappers? I think we I think famous rappers would be good. Like again, Biggie. So who would who's like your Mount Rushmore of rappers? Biggie, Tupac, Jay Z got to be on there, right? You know, here's the deal. I I get Jay Z's relevance in in rap but i have never been a huge jay-z fan oh just i i just do not like i i just do not like his flow i mean i like kanye um listen i like his shoes we'll get to talk about those here and i i I like i like kanye um geez you're really putting me on the spot with with rappers here um, I mean, obviously, everyone loves Eminem. Oh, you got them. You got those ones. There they are. Those are those look good. Those are, those are my new everyday wears. Although K- Kanye, Kanye. Uh, I mean, I think Lil Wayne should be in there. Wheezy, a little Wheezy, yeah. Yeah. So now we're just gonna go Drake. <sighs> hey, I, listen. I know that like Jay Z is the biggest like billionaire rapper. But relevance wise, right now, Jay Z is everywhere. Or I'm sorry, uh, Drake is everywhere. But you're telling me when when the first beat to Big Pimpin comes on, you oh. don't just be like, "Oh, okay." Okay, there are there are certain songs that I, that I like of Jay Z's, but I don't go and listen to his whole albums. But like okay. Kendrick Lamar, like I can listen to album front, to, you know, start to finish. Okay, Eminem, a start to finish albums. Uh, a lot of those guys, Tupac, start to finish, Biggie album. I mean, they just had that. Jay Z just, he just okay. And I just don't, I just don't like his fucking voice. To so be we honest. can agree on on Tupac and Biggie for sure. Got to be in there. Yeah, and I, I, and I'm not saying Jay Z isn't relevant. There's a lot of people that love Jay Z. Snoop probably has to be there too. I, I would think Snoop would have to be in there. Yeah, Dr. Dre. But now we're going all. That's all. What that's a West Coast heavy lineup. Yeah. And I don't want to well, fit I mean, the East Coasters. Biggie. Yeah. Biggie what about, would be out there about, by himself against all these West Coasters. What about what about the ATL? What yeah. about the Lou with Nelly? You know, I mean there, there's so, so like, many. So maybe we do like one, we like the best from each. So like Tupac's West Coast, Biggie's East, then you got Nelly represent Midwest, then you got like T I or somebody in Atlanta. Well, yeah. Probably Lil Wayne from Atlanta, right? Wasn't Lil Wayne from Atlanta? He's from Louisiana. I don't think Louisiana. I don't think he's, yeah, a, you're right. a, don't think he's a, a Atlanta based, but he, okay. yeah, he's a Louisiana. I don't know if you put him in because it's so close to Atlanta. Yeah. I, don't know if he, I don't know if he reps that set. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah and I'm and then obviously Flo Rida in Florida. You know, Florida. <laughs> he's the only one. I mean, it's it's in the name. Uh, <laughs> still got the bad lungs. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think a rap one would be cool. Um, I am going to tell everyone right now, I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if, if they come after us, I don't care. Nashville is going to be a Taylor Swift thing. I'm in. All Let's Taylor go. Swift. Let's I, go. I, I won't get to be there, but I will because it's the same weekend. I, is it the same weekend as Placid Dex or Bash? I'm sorry. It's I don't know. something. Do you have something yeah. going on the same time as Nashville? I do. Yeah. So that. you're going to have to hold it down I'll, and, and I'll really do rep us Swifties for okay. sure. I'll do that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, basically that's, so you were talking about shoes. Like, are you not a Kanye fan? You're just a, you just like Yeezys? Like his, his like first few albums were good. And 100. then like it all fell off. Like, I mean. I think he tried to out genius his genius. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like college dropout, like one of the best albums of all time. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it would, it would be up there. Like his first three albums fire. I would listen to him straight through. Right. But the last few, uh, I mean, call it a a spade a spade. Awful. Yeah. And when he went through like 
Love Lockdown. My love. That's when he kind of started this. I still like Love Lockdown because I like when artists try different things, like when they get outside of their box. But now yeah. it's just, now it's just too much. Like he's doing too much. Like just go back to the old yay. And yep. maybe you can't get back to the old yay because I know all artists want to evolve. And I think that's what I like. I'm a huge Craig David fan. His first album was bomb. His second album was good. His third album, and it started sliding downhill. And now he's just doing like dance party mixes, which is still cool. It still has a, serves a purpose, but every artist wants to evolve and, yeah. and be different. But yeah, I mean, college dropout was, was incredible. It was just fresh and new. And I really, I, I wonder what the next fresh and new on the music scene is going to be like, what more can be done? That's fresh and new. Like I obviously I wasn't around when Elvis was, but hearing my grandmother talk about it, that's that's why I was so big because he was so different yeah. than anything at the time. And then when you come in and like when grunge came in and Nirvana came out and they hit that one fucking lick on uh smells like teen spirit. That opening. And you're like, oh, let's go. Yeah. And you know, and then rap kind of got its thing. But now it's like, what like what is the next big thing like it, there's gonna be something and we're probably gonna hate it because we're old now i but um, i don't I, i'm i'm actually pretty hip when it, and this isn't bragging like i'm pretty hip when it comes to the new stuff in in music um i don't dislike any music i mean yeah, i think me it's neither. all uh, i just like shitty albums uh but i respect him for trying something different yeah and you know who else is really good uh j cole i saw j limbs he spits fire and he's talking about you uh but j cole is also a really good rapper yeah, I don't know if listen much, of, much of J. Cole. Um, here comes Jeff Peck, Mr. Ring Around in o Omaha himself. <laughs> I hope you caught that first part where I said, if there's one person, if there's one person in this fucking BLPA group that I love to just fuck around with, pause. I think, I think fuck uh, over was the was the fuck over term. that I love to fuck over. It's Jeff Peck, bud. Woo, it's Jeff Peck. <laughs> love it. Fucking love it. I'm gonna and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep fucking him over till the day <laughs> I die, bud. All all my life. I'm gonna do it. So right. next week episode will be in Oklahoma. I'll You'll be, be in I'll Oklahoma. be in Oklahoma. Are we gonna do it on like a Wednesday morning again? Works for me. I mean we seem to get a lot more traction when we can get people out of work to yep. listen to us. And then maybe we do a pre Boston one on Wednesday and then a Ooh. live one in Boston on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a live one. We'll do the pre Boston on uh well on Wednesday, hey, right? That, oh yeah, that'll, that'll be, be that will be the Wednesday, Wednesday when you're in Oklahoma. Yeah. So the Wednesday one, Friday, we'll okay. have a we'll have a pre oh, pre and post draft. Yeah. Yeah, we can do pre post draft. Uh, and and we'll have our our uh predictions. Yep. And then we will do we'll, we'll do one after. We'll do a wrap up and then we'll come back on Sunday. Um yeah, I think that's the way to do it. And then we'll come back on Wednesday and and hit with the, the another episode when I'm back home. Perfect. I have another question for you. And yes. I speaking of your gambling. Okay. Money lining. Yeah. I have an idea and I've tried it before, but I still think that it 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 is going to work if we can get it to work. But I want to get your opinion on if you'd like. Okay. okay. I I like why I like why I like to do these. Uh, live shows is because of all this interaction that you sure. see on the screen with within people. I, I love it. I love people talking together. I love the community. That's why I built the BLPA. Thank you guys for being here and doing it. I want to build that around our Dex games and not just at the Dex, but online as well. Why we're playing? And I know most rinks have Live Barn, but there's other stuff we can get to to make sure we're always live streaming. But he here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try to start setting up the drafts on Monday. And okay. then we're gonna then we're gonna make a fantasy draft okay. where you pick one player from each round. Okay. And then you their goals and assists and that stuff. And so you pick a winning team. And then we're gonna try to live stream the games onto like our YouTube channel. Okay. And then people can be chatting about the game. Even if they're not playing, they can chat and they can be like, have fucking Limbucker. All I needed was one fucking assist that game. And so we can kind of incorporate the whole uh fantasy aspect yep. of sports with beer league and then also the community. Do you think people would watch it? I think uh, it would be a slow start, but I think once you got it rolling, people would, you got to get people in and then they tell people how much fun it is. You know, 
doing and it, that. It, it, it would be, it would be a pay for thing, right? Like whatever, maybe you, you pay a dollar or $10 and the, the winner of the draft gets the pot or, or okay. something to yeah. that effect. You know, now, now I think you get people a little more interested. Yeah. But when you start getting money and the only problem is, is that we know fucking refs, bud. They're not giving them second assists so freely. So I'll have to talk to refs and be like, hey, if there's second assists, like there's money on the line here. We got yeah. we got to do it. Um, and so I think that that is a a, a good. A, a, I think that's a cool thing to do. It's or different. maybe maybe we don't do second assists. Like we just tell the refs, listen, every goal needs the goal scorer and the first assist, but don't give out secondaries. Well, but what if I mean, what if I'm making like this fucking breakout pass from way back yeah, when we're shutting down D yeah. and I throw that motherfucker okay. right up you're and right, it goes right. to fucking Limbacher. I want to give you the credit for that. Limbacher passes over to Peck. Peck finishes and uh, and I, I want to get that credit. Or what if a goalie gets it? That's true. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like a goalie yeah. assist should be some points. I saw two of them from our goalie this past weekend, like legit. I, I gave yeah. one out on Monday. Okay. Legit goalie assist. So a, a lot of people... A lot of people are saying live show at the draft party and post the comments on the monitor. So, so we just we just have a live show going and like it has our in the background. It just has the, that would be actually fucking hilarious. And hey, so I, I, I told you that I got those Meta glasses, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I ordered the, the Meta glasses and I got them prescription lens so I could wear them all the time. And so we could live stream. It'll, I think it only live stream for up to us. 30 minutes, I think, at a time, I think, before it overheats and blows up on my face. But I'm willing to put myself in in that in, in the yeah. in the danger zone. Uh, that's okay. what I'm I'm willing to do. So, but I think that I think this this fantasy draft thing has legs. I think so too. People the love only, fantasy. They love it's not really gambling necessarily, but it kind of is in a way. So if you if if anyone's a coder or even understands like Excel sheets <laughs> to the point of where uh we can make a form that then auto tabulates everyone's selections and then adds the scores as they're put in. I, I'm, I'd, I'd probably have to put them in at some level. I think but right. if we could, if we could develop some system that could do that and we don't have to have live barn, they have like these cameras you can buy now. It's like 1200 bucks and you set it up and it follows the, the puck. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think it just follows the action yeah. to somewhere. So, um, so yeah, we did do it. We did it on the Philly decks like two years ago. We we did it and it was fun. Like people had a lot of fun. Uh, and like people were like, "Oh, I'm just picking my friends," and then they lost because their friends suck, uh, which is cool. But if you're if you're gonna pay the five or ten dollars to do that for a chance to win, just pick your friends. Cool. Yeah, uh, we're trying to be strategic about it, right? <laughs> and so yeah, I think I think that's a a cool thing to do. We just need to set it up. And you know how we could get that set up. If you support our Patreon right there, you can uh, scan that thing. I mean, st- content like that uh, costs money. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. So I, I, I do agree with you, Casey, that a live draft party would help get people interested in signing up. That's what, that's what I want to do. The, here's here's the one issue. Sometimes draft parties go off the rails. <laughs> they do. Um, and I don't want to get people in trouble if they don't need to be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just here to have party and have fun. Um, you know, if that one guy is going to do cocaine and show his butthole, right. but he's only doing it because he feels like it's just something that's going to be seen at a draft party. And then I'm going to say a joke about it every fucking time I do a draft party. Well, I don't want him. I don't want it to be caught on camera, especially a live stream where live we stream of a butthole is probably not yeah. a good idea. Or, or, but maybe that goes on our OnlyFans. I don't know. You know, <laughs> maybe. you know, uh, maybe maybe that's maybe that's the way it works. Uh, oh, and here's was an OnlyFans suggestion. Okay. Uh, BLPA bruises. Ooh, so I've, got, I've got, had a few good ones. Yeah, especially if you on get the a rear bruise, end. then we take a picture of it and we upload it on our OnlyFans, and you can see our nasty BLPA Dex bruises. I think I think that's a good one. Yeah, I think solid. One. So, um, uh, Casey says we could set a delay so if something happens, you can cut it off before it streams. Um, who's gonna do that? Yeah, you, you we saw how good our producer. Yeah, or well, we don't have a producer. No one's pa- Patreon in us. Uh, no, well, there are people Patreon us, and we do support the fuck out of those guys. Thank you guys very much. Also, the VIPs, thank you very much. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many, there's so many things uh, that can be done, and I think we could do it. It just, it just takes time and money, right? Speaking yep. of VIP box, that, that one's rotating through. Um, also, keep keep your eye out and about uh, on Thursday tomorrow. The Till We Die hoodies are going to go on sale for thirty five dollars. We just got to clear out some inventory for some new product I want to get. 
So the till we die hoodies will all be 30 bucks until $35 until we sell out of them. And there I think there's go. only like, there's only like 65 or 70 of them left. So, uh, get those, uh, tomorrow. Actually, I might jump off right off here and, uh, change the price uh, to those and then post it in the group to clear out some stuff. So, uh, support us, Patreon us, VIP us. Um, but more importantly, listen. Yeah. Tell your like, friends to listen. Tell your friend. And That's listen, free. If you if you're on Spotify, I I believe I believe we got. Do they call it doxing? I don't know what they call it. Where they just go in and someone like rates your show low to screw your numbers over. Okay. But on Spotify, we used to have a four point eight rating. Okay. And I think we've got a bunch of zero stars because we're down to like three point something, and we're not a three we're we're not a three star we're show. Definitely not a three star show. You no, know, we're not a three star show. And so if you guys are out there listening, uh to our show can you can you rate and review us and only five stars and, and good reviews if you don't like our show just fucking leave <laughs> just don't listen it's okay yeah i mean it, we're adults here all right yeah. we're, we're adults we can we can we can we can live with people not listening to us yeah what we can't live with is false reviews i mean that's a lot of zero star reviews to get us down to 3.9 we're not we're not a three three star no, show at not all. at all so all right well before we go Jason, why don't you tell? Well, this is a long one. We were, we're really we're going to get to a two hour show before long. Yeah, people going to happen, right and there's a lot our, of people watching. Like there's like right before our people. 24 hour show, we'll, yep. we'll the telethon. Show, what if we yeah. did 48 hours? What if we keep building on this motherfucker? Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, and there's like 53 people watching us too. Like this is a strong showing. Strong. Let's go. Strong Let's go. Show. All right. Uh, tell the folks where they can find us. You can find us on all social media at the blpa you can find nick at nicker jones the nicker jones on instagram and me on the twitters at beer league jason yep. find us follow us yep look be a blue shoe magoo back on it fire blpa yep. thon tour I, I love blue Sh- he's my new favorite poster blue shoe magoo favorite poster <laughs> that that's he is he is now yeah, i like I believe him. Him. all right guys uh had, had a blast at philly we're going to have a blast in Omaha. Then me and Jason are going to have a blast in Boston. Uh, we're going to do things up right. So come out, join us. Uh, if you can't, if you've got a team and you're in the, if you're in the Virginia beach area, if you're in the Burlington, Vermont area, if you're in the Philadelphia area, if you're in uh, the Columbus area, uh, put a team in our bash, come yeah. find out why people love them. We, I know, I know we're newer on the tournament scene. There's a lot of tournaments out there. Come, come see why people love BLPA because we, we care about you and we want That's you right. to be us. Uh, yes, we do want you to pay to be on them. That's no surprise, but I generally like, I'm a beer leaguer just like you. And I, I want to put on an experience that I'd want to play in. And that's why I think we're different because I, I love being out there. I'm there. I'm out there flipping burgers and dogs. Jeff Peck better be out there flipping burgers and dogs, um, for no pay, by the way. Um, if, Hey, if, if you, if you, if you guys, if you guys want, if you guys really want to get something, if I'm going to make this only fan, I'm actually going to put prices on it and it's going to be a live stream of Jeff Peck flipping burgers and dogs. There you go. That's what it's going to be. What I mean, who wouldn't pay for that? You I would see Jeff, for sure. He's just out there and he's sweating, <laughs> sweating. And, and he's just, and you just know he's miserable. He's just fucking miserable. And he's getting no pay. He's getting no pay. I probably put his team in too high of a division <laughs> and, and he's just, he's just getting absolutely fucking smoked on the weekend. And we're just going to live stream him flipping these burgers and dogs. It's there just going to be, it's going to be incredible. So, uh, <laughs> what do you think? That's a, that's probably a $10 a month fee right there. Yeah, yeah just, for sure. Yeah. And we'll just, and we'll just keep live streaming that loop every month. So everyone, can get, everyone can get in on it. Right. Um, so, all right, well, that's, that's it. That's the show. That's what we got. Everyone. Until until next time, until next Wednesday, maybe there'll be some content this weekend in Omaha. Who knows? Yeah, Alyssa will be there. So there'll be some content going up. Um, yeah, until then, be good or be good at it. Love you guys.
Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to the LPA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. You better follow me. Follow us. The BLPA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. Let's get it. Here we go. Here we go.